Pope's gone. Climbing turn today. You'll notice that we released before 3,000 feet, anticipating the climb after release. So we're going to be doing some spinning, so we're going to do some hassle checks. Our height's okay for our intended manoeuvre. Our airframe, the limitations are as indicated on the airspeed indicator, so 81 knots and 119 knots for maximum manoeuvring speed and VNE respectively. Straps and security, there's no loose obstacles in the cockpit at all, I checked that before we got in, and my straps are secure. Our location at the moment, we're over a built-up area. It's our intention to actually undertake this exercise over the airfield in order that viewers of the video will be able to recognise things on the ground. There is winch launching going on, so we're not going to go low over the airfield while spinning. Look out, we're going to do two 180 degree turns, one to the left, one to the right. This is to avoid anybody else thinking we're thermal in and wanting to come and join us. So as I'm drifting towards the airfield now, I'm going to do my clearing turns, first to the left. It's clear below us to the left. Check into the right. And turning to the right. It's clear beneath us to the right. So our spin scenario is this, we come into some rising air and slow the glider down. We feel the surge and start to turn, no it's under the other wing. So here we are in a gentle firmling turn. Now during the process of this turn we notice that something out climbs us and we try to work out why that was. We decide that we're not banked steeply enough, so we increase our angle of bank. And in doing so notice the yaw string's gone out to the left. So we put in some in-turn rudder and the glider departs into a spin. Notice the steep nose down attitude as the glider recovers. you will probably also notice that that is most unlikely to happen in a K21. Therefore a K23 is not a single seat version of a K21. Making a clearing turn to the left here to demonstrate the same thing to the left. So we bank to the left. Flying slowly to try and climb well, not climbing well enough, increase our angle of bank, your string's out, let's put the your string where it belongs, and the glider spins to the left. So again, quite clearly, a K23 will spin from a relatively straightforward scenario of thermal in too slowly and getting the oar string in the centre. We're now going to move away from over the airfield as there's winch launching going on and we're now at 2,000 feet. There's no risk at that, however, uh, it might delay launching. So we're just flying a bit further away. Uh, it's quite interesting the way that the nose pitch is so horribly nose forward in the recovery and the recovery speed gets quite high. This is actually dependent largely on what phase of the spin we're in when we make our recovery. You might also wonder why it is that we don't spin normally when we're thermal in slowly. So I'm just going to demonstrate that, but before we do so, look out to the right and beneath us and to the left and beneath us it's clear to the right, it's clear to the left so we're going to line up into wind slow the glider down 
commence our thermal intern. We're flying quite slowly, the nose is quite high, but you'll notice the yaw string is out to the left whilst we're turning to the right. If I increase the angle of bank and maintain the speed and the attitude, the yaw string moves further out to the left. The glider is actually stalled, but there's no buffet. Look at the variometer. However, if I now centralise the yaw string, the nose goes down and the glider spins. So it's stick forward and ease out. You would be very surprised to find a K21 doing that within its normal ballast loading limits. Once more, equally slowly, we're not going to spin from this, we're banked, the yaw strings outside the turn, the glider is stalled. It's quite heavily stalled. There is no propensity for the glider to spin whatsoever all the time that the yaw strings out to the left whilst we're in a right turn and vice versa. It is only the application of sufficient rudder to bring the yaw string to the centre that causes the glider to spin. So from this stalled condition, ease off the back pressure and the glider's flying. In fact, we're in a thermal and climbing. Just.